Hello, friends. It is sticky note time. <laughs> what the heck does that mean? Okay. One of the things I can't emphasize enough is that you need to work really hard to get comments on your lives about all sorts of fun things. Okay. If you are more of a traditional party plan and you're doing tutorials, one of the things you want to do is have questions like, you know, your let's say, for example, you're doing a recipe and you've got grated cheese. You could ask, I'm curious, do you buy it grated or do you grate it yourself? Okay. We need to have lots of questions in there um, about things that you're talking about. And, um, and then my more, my gals that are more kind of like your personal QVC channels, right? They're live selling style. Um, you want to have a variety of fun things to talk about. One of the great places that we do this in, that we help you create content is in our engagement camps. And that comes with our social media 101. So if you haven't signed up for that yet, um, be sure and message us and we'll give you more details on that. But it's super important. <coughs> you kind of have different weekly themes and change it up. So when you come up with your theme and your, and your fun questions, you want to write them down. You want to have about three to five questions on here. And what's super, super important is that these are questions that people can easily answer. Easy to answer with the brain, easy to answer with the thumb, right? So you might have, now here's the thing. I like scale of one to 10, but you can only do that once or twice if they're far away, because then you go back to respond to things and you're like, what was that one referring to? Same thing with days of the week, okay? Um, multiple choice can be good, but you got, it's really be better to just do either or because a lot of times they won't remember all four options. So are you team red or team blue? Something really simple like that. The other thing I do is ask people one worded questions. Um, I ask and also like comment this, if this is something you relate to or something you have a struggle with. And so you want to write those out in full sentences so that you don't end up asking yes, no questions. The open-ended question, tell me more, you know, even just having things like, what y'all have for dinner? What'd you do for Labor Day weekend? What, you know, think about the holidays, think about the seasons, you know, it's back to school. Um, what day did your kids go back to school? There's so many good questions. You want to have them written down and then grab your phone you know, have them written and then stick down here so you're looking at your camera and they're not far away at all. So when there starts to be kind of a lull or when you get to that product in your um, tutorial that you know what to ask and you've written it in question queen style. The way you word things does make a huge difference in how many comments you get. The more comments you get, the more Facebook will share it out, okay? Now we'll be talking about contests and stuff like that, but you need to really have a deep desire to get to know your clients. You need to be asking questions that help you connect and get to know them better, okay? So um, good luck with that. It's gonna be great and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.